Okay, Goose, it is August 30th, and he is an estimated 1,200 pounds, and he's still gaining 17 pounds a day. I am going to show you a graph inside um, comparing him to my other pumpkins in prior years, and we'll talk about if I can get a personal best or not. It's going to be close. And we have Snoop Gord, who is measuring an estimated 1,110 pounds, and he is averaging 19 pounds a day. I feel like he keeps getting more and more beautiful every single day. Um, one thing I did notice is that he's starting to cantaloupe. You can kind of see how the skin's getting rougher here instead of that nice smooth orange. So that's kind of a sign that he's getting older. Uh, we like the baby skin for the sake of the Howard Dill Award for the prettiest pumpkin, but even with the cantaloping, I still think he's a beauty, and I still think he has a chance at winning that award. So we're gonna keep at it. Um, one other thing, the blossom nub here, I did cut it uh, the other day, and it's doing okay, but looks like he's growing into it again. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Uh, I hate to cut it too much because of that risk for rot. This, this wall right here is really, really thin. I mean, in some pumpkins, it's like paper thin, and the last thing I want is a split or rot going into there, so gotta be careful what I choose to do, but we'll just keep an eye on it for now. It's drying out nice. I pollinated my giant marrow today, and I was not aware that he was opening up today, so it's gonna be an open pollination, because as you can see, the bees have already found it. Um, so it's gonna be an open pollination. The genetics are not controlled, um, but I'm just happy to have something at this point. So we'll see how she does. One nice thing about my pumpkin patch is that you can see it from the road. So the neighbors love it. So what I did for them is I made them this board and it updates them on everybody's weights and how much weight they're gaining. And it's a, it's a great hit. And I do grow other vegetables too. Uh, I killed most of my tomatoes because I didn't water the smart pots for a few days and that dried them all out. But I'm pretty darn good at growing squash. So I have acorn squash, spaghetti squash, butternut squash, I'm trying to take over the road all over. You got some butternut squash in there somewhere, you can see. So give them out to family and friends. I have so many tomatoes. Don't know what to do with them all. I just don't have time to process them, but even though my plants are half dead, we got lots of tomatoes. So might make some minestrone soup or pasta sauce, who knows. So in one of my older videos, I showed you this uh, Excel sheet that I made that has all my years um, with all my measured numbers. Now what I didn't show you was that I also have a graph here of all my pumpkins and I kind of wanted to show you this and go over it. So. This one here, the gray triangles, that's my personal best, 1521.5 pounds. Uh, the interesting thing about this though is that this pumpkin went 6% light, so it was 100 pounds lighter than it was estimated to be. So that's something we have to keep in mind when we look at this. Um, the only other decent pumpkins I had were this, this yellow X here. That was a pumpkin that split because um, it grew too fast, and then this... Uh, the blue star that was on track to be my personal best um, but that's you can see how the numbers dropped off right here that's when I got really sick and I spent 74 days in a hospital and um, I watched my pumpkin get weighed off via zoom and that was 1440 pounds um, so so these curves are kind of like where I want to be at now, my pumpkins last year were this green circle and this uh, plus sign here. Uh, those were 1381 or 1378 and 1282 or something like that. Um, both of those got hit with squash vine borer. Actually, one got hit with squash vine borer and one got um, a blossom end split, so I stopped feeding it. So those kind of dropped off early. Now, my ones this year are this purple square and this red diamond. 
Now you can see earlier in the year, they were kind of on track with my personal best. And then right around here, sorry, the focus keeps going in and out. Um, but right around here, we had a few nights in the 40s. And then they just kind of dropped off that curve. Um, so I'm kind of bummed about that, but that's kind of where we're headed. So doesn't look like we're going to get a personal best. But again, remember, this went 6% light. So I think right now I'm probably a 140 pounds off from my personal best if things keep growing as they are. Um, so if my pumpkin goes heavy, I could beat a personal best. So it's actually kind of fun because I'm, I still have a chance at a personal best. It's just I have to be optimistic about it more than anything. Um, so I'm not sure what caused that drop off. And it's actually doing the opposite of what it should have done because I have this new product that I was using called Florel. I painted it on the pumpkin right after pollination. And what it was supposed to do was it was supposed to um, increase that time that it was growing before it ripened. So it should have actually done the opposite and, you know, gone up and level off later. So it did the opposite of what it was supposed to do. So I don't know. I, I don't know what to think of it. It's been a terrible year weather-wise, but honestly, I feel like my plants have been great, and I don't really want to blame the weather for why I'm doing bad. I, I really don't know why. Um, and by bad, I'm not doing bad. Like, my pumpkins are alive, so that alone is good. Um, but, you know, am I not feeding aggressively enough? Is it because I don't get full sunlight in my patch? Uh, I don't know. There's many things it could be, but... This graph is super helpful and I'm glad I made it. I love comparing it over the years.